system acceptance review for the 2022 competition year. We are excited to show off our progress and innovation this year and are proud to present our 2022 rover, Neptune. Our rover's name came from an elementary student's submission through our Engineers Week rover naming contest. With the restraints of COVID-19, we began our year with virtual recruitment and trainings. But after successful trainings and onboarding of over 50 members this year, we focused on an in-person transition to have a safe, groundbreaking, and productive year. Our six different subteams redesigned the entire rover based on extensive research, as well as lessons learned from the previous year. Our team capitalized on Binghamton University's state-of-the-art fabrication lab, which includes things such as water jet cutting and advanced 3D printing. The chassis was manufactured in-house to exact specifications to accurately implement the many finite element analysis optimized components. Wires are managed neatly within the wire jet cut aluminum members to route needed cables to each wheel. The rocker bogey design and enhanced differential bar allows for improved terrain maneuverability, giving Neptune the ability to climb over obstacles in the Utah desert. To further give Neptune to climbing abilities, custom TPU 3D printed wheels provide traction, are non-pneumatic, and will soften any impact that will occur. The output of the brushless DC motors is put through to our custom-made carbon fiber nylon 3D printed herringbone planetary gearboxes to allow adequate torque. To support the capabilities of the rover, we designed a robust system that emphasized custom printed circuit boards and standardized parts. All finalized PCBs were checked to ensure the appropriate voltages and signals can be found on each pin. All subsystems are controlled by a TNC 4.1 microcontroller that receives controlled area network or CAN bus packets from the central Raspberry Pi 4. For standardization, all custom PCBs use JST, XH, and Molex Minifit Junior connectors, allowing for fluent transition between the human-robot environment interaction and environmental analysis system. Complete the extreme retrieval and delivery mission and the equipment servicing mission, the HREI team designed a six degree of freedom arm. This arm contains aluminum R bands that were optimized using finite element analysis to yield a high strength weight ratio. The arm's joints are driven by NEMA 23 stepper motors, three of which are coupled to custom-designed planetary gearboxes that use herringbone-style gears. These gearboxes are 3D printed with engineering-grade nylon material that is mixed with carbon fiber strands. This year, the HREI team also chose to use timing belts to drive the joints, as this allows the team to strategically place the motors to create a lower center of gravity, resulting in a more stable design. Utilizing timing belts also allows the team to use one of our stepper motors as a cantilever for the upper arm bands, which significantly reduces the gear ratios required to move our elbow joint. The arm is also equipped with our parallelogram fingertip gripper, which was designed to keep the fingertips perpendicular to impending objects to increase grip strength. This gripper also contains a 5 16th inch hex key, which allows us to easily manipulate switches and buttons and interact with keyboards and screws. To improve the operating experience and maximize our remote control capability, the software team completely overhauled systems from previous years. The base station uses GLFW and minimalistic GUI framework NanoGUI to create a responsive and engaging user experience. Our design maximizes runtime flexibility and does not rely on constant system configurations. Sensor gauges, video streams, and other task-specific widgets are contained in modular windows, allowing users to customize and adapt the layout without editing any code. The new network library uses features like vectored I.O. to reduce latency and required bandwidth, a noticeable improvement from last year's design. The rover and base station communication system handles environments with low bandwidth or high packet loss. The environmental analysis team worked to implement proper testing methods to distinguish between extant, existing, and extant life. After the auger has collected and dispensed the dirt samples, the testing suite is lowered for testing to begin. For our first test uses CO2 and pH sensors to determine their respective levels. A burette test and lipid test strips are used to detect proteins and lipid bonds with a change in color indicating presence in the sample. We also use a methane sensor and a temperature sensor as well as an OSEP sensor which measures temperature, moisture, and humidity in the soil. We use peristalsis pumps and silicon tubing to direct the testing fluids into the appropriate cutouts and below with a layer of acrylic with a watertight seal around our science module. After accumulating results from a multiple test, we can form a conclusion on the presence or absence of life. And to keep preparing for competitions in Utah, Neptune and our operators will continue undergoing trainings to ensure each mission can be completed with ease and high precision. We are excited to compete in this year's URC and are proud of how far we've come. Thank you for your time and we can't wait to see you in Utah.